Our Castrol Active champion today comes from a great lineage. The mighty Lala Amarnath, the scorer of India's first test century, produced three boys, two of whom played for India. How good was that? Surinder, the elder brother, then Mohinder, the youngest Rajinder, uh, played a lot of first class cricket, but it was Mohinder who everyone sort of acknowledged as being one of the finest against base bowling. Started very early as a young man. I remember 1969 radio days and just a little child listening into the radio and suddenly we hear Mohindra Amarnath is playing in the test match against Australia and he's got Ian Chappell and Keith Stackpole out and he said, oh okay, India's got a fast bowler here. He wasn't fast but you know on radio you, you don't always get it. But as a young kid he'd already attracted attention then and the story goes that the day before the game Lala Amarnath saw a slightly boy strike. He told uh, Mohindra to go and bowl over there, he impressed everybody and there he was. He's already a test cricketer back in 19. But if there's one constant in Jimmy Amarnath's career, it was that every time he was on a high, the low was round the corner. 69 to 76, he didn't play and then he came back in New Zealand 1976. He was a bit of an all-rounder already, not just a fast bowler, he was a bit of an all-rounder moving up the batting order and by 76 in West Indies, he was ready to bat at number 3 for India. Some of you might remember that run chase, if you don't, you're not a cricket lover. India set 400 plus to win, eventually get there 406 for 4, Gavaskar got 100, Vishwanath got 100, Brijesh Patel finished the innings with a rock all along in those big partnerships with Gavaskar, with, uh, with Vishwanath was Mohindra Amarnath and already he had started to show that what a good player of fast bowling he was. It was something that was to become the stuff of legend as he went along. 76, 77, everyone thinks, right, Mohinder Amarnath is here. And then all of a sudden he's down again. In 79, he got hit on the head. He was out again. By 1982, Mohinder Amarnath was convinced he was not going to play cricket for India. But in him, slowly started to awaken a fire. And he said, he listened to the eye of the tiger. He said, must have listened to it a thousand times. So just playing in his, in his ears all the time. And he came back and he came back. And how did he come back? He went to Pakistan. Remember Pakistan at that time, outstanding pace attack. He then went to uh, the West Indies, the best pace attack in the history of the game. 11 test matches, he had 407 50s. He made 1100 runs. And the likes of Imran Khan and the West Indies quick said he was an, at that time the best player of fast bowling in the world and he would he never ever stop pulling he told me his mind was very he had made up his mind it was very simple he said if something was over his left shoulder he would play the pull shot if something was over his right shoulder he said you never had time to move out he would just take it on the body and he just kept taking ball after ball on the body he said i was very lucky i didn't break a rib but he said i was very clear i was going to get into position left shoulder pull right shoulder whatever happened but he made 1100 runs that way and he showed a whole generation that that is how you play fast bowling. On those two very difficult tours, India may not have won the series, but that middle order, that whole Indian batting lineup was being protected by Jimmy Amarnath. Much the same way Castrol Active's active ones protect your bike engine, whether running or off. I have no doubt that Jimmy Amarnath was one of the toughest, most fearless people to play for India. He'd take blows on his body, it didn't matter. There was never any pain with Jimmy Amarnath. He just went out and batted. It's interesting, his, his record is skewed towards tougher opposition. We tried to break up his record against the tougher teams. You had Australia, England, New Zealand, or West Indies and Pakistan. West Indies, Pakistan, really tough opposition in those days. And in those test matches, he averaged 50 plus. Remember, we are talking of an era when batting average above 40 was considered good. Above 45 was very good. Above 50, you were something else. Against toughest opposition playing away, Jimmy Amarnath's averages were in that region. And that is why anybody who remembers cricket from that era, you speak to bowlers of that era and they will talk about Jimmy Amarnath and his ability to play fast bowling very differently. Did he only play test match cricket then? Did he only travel around? Did he only play at that lovely languid pace? In fact, as he became more of a batsman, you would have thought his bowling started to fade away. It only did that in the 80s. But at his best moment, at the very zenith of Indian cricket, Jimmy Amarnath, the all-rounder, came through. 1983, India went to the World Cup and then India started to come good. 
got to the semi-final and India got that sticky wicket, Kirti Azad and Jimmy Amarnath bowled 12 overs and took 3 for 55. And then on that difficult wicket, he ensured India didn't collapse, made 46, took India through to the final, got a gritty 26. It was a very small scoring final and then took 3 for 12 in 7, 7 and a half overs. He took two important wickets just when the partnership was building up and then the image that you have, Michael holding LBW Mohinder Amarnath, that will always stay when it came to the 1983 World Cup. Mohinder Amarnath was always there. Man of the match in the semi-final, man of the match in the final. And if there is a generation that remembers Indian cricket of that era only by the 1983 World Cup, then there were many. There was Kapil Dev, there were so many others. But Mohinder Amarnath was an integral part of that protecting that Indian team. Much like Castrol Actives, Actibons protect your bike engine whether running or off. For someone who started in 1969, Jimmy Amanath went on to play till 1989, a career that spanned 20 years, a genuine roller coaster of a career. And then he was to play this place key roles in Indian cricket at different times. He was a selector. When he became a selector, I said, ah, that's interesting because all his life, Jimmy Amanath fought battles against selectors. And then he became selector. He was strong-willed, not always very popular because strong-willed people aren't always. But he still, even now, remains a person with very strong views. But at a crucial moment in Indian cricket history, Jimmy Amanath was there for India. And that's why he's a Castrol Active champion.